Picture this. It's early 2001 in Denton, Texas. And our collective noticed that there were a ton of, and I quote, quintessential Texan characters showing up to one of their yard sales. They then got an idea to put some stuff up for sale that were never really meant to be sold and created a character, so to speak. A character that wouldn't just act like a subversion to the yard sales concept of custom economies, but would grow to be one of the most mysterious figures in public access history. A history of which is shrouded in mystery. This is the Price Master, and it is my favorite public access special of all time. And there is a very good reason as to why I give it that title over everything else we've covered so far. It's just so damn weird. Good morning, sir. Hey, beer. It's not just for breakfast anymore. If Cooking with the Hook was the funniest public access special in my opinion, The Price Master is by far the most surreal, feeling sort of like an Eric Andre sketch at some points. And also, as everyone who has already talked about The Price Master prior to me has already mentioned, this special is also a pretty bold satire on the state of capitalism. Even the character of the Price Master himself is inspired by the character of Pantaloon from a form of theater called Comedian de l'Art, who, to no one's surprise, is known for being a cheapskate, even down to wearing the same mask. It's a unique piece of performance art that shouldn't really be buried, and a massive inspiration to many interpretive artists. Hell, he was even a massive inspiration to me when I was making my own interpretive performance art piece in the form of a feature film. Hell, the Price Master is practically a more talkative CMF just with more clothes, a mask, and arthritis. My two favorite styles in particular are this woman asking for a price of a Dr. Pepper canister, and he just doesn't even give her a price, and instead he just mocks her for her choice. And on the other end of the spectrum, the price master actually gives someone a genuinely reasonable price, only for the guy to turn it down because it was just too much money. This guy is genuinely amazing. Wherever he is now, I hope he has $17.42. Surreal, liminal, and absolutely hilarious, the Price Master may have given the most reasonable prices out there, but you can't put a price on pure entertainment. Thank you.